It's December 18th, 2006. I got a Wii for an early Christmas present. It blown my, my it blowed my mind when it arrived to my house. The awesome thing was, it was all to me, not to my twin sister or to my parents. Dan, you got yourself your very own Wii. I thought to myself as I hooked it up with my dad. Hey Dan, will you still share it with us? Of course, I said. We we did get four controllers to it, so everybody could play. I didn't play it until the weekend. And that day was a Thursday. When I, when I went to school on Friday, I bragged and bragged about my Wii. Everybody was like, "Holy Macanoli, Dan! You actually got one!" Yes, I did, and I love it. I proudly said. I kept on bragging about my Wii at school. Of course, some kids were cool about it, and some others, some other kids had to say stop bragging i really didn't care about the, their words their words didn't hit me i was stronger than those i bragged as much as i can i'm a bragger kid usually some other kids got their own wii's too that was awesome because we can play multiplayer games in the on the wii with each other until i bragged about it to this one weird creepy kid he said hey have you heard of this thing going around about the Wii? No, but tell it to me, I said. Okay, if you say so. So, here's the story. A boy about our age got a Wii and started playing it. His first minute on the Wii was 1.33 p.m. He kept on playing it. He played it for an hour. When he took a break, he walked to an unknown place and was never seen or heard from anybody again. A search party was sent out to find him. Three days later, they found him in an abandoned house hanging by a noose with a note next to him. The note said, Never play the Wii at 1.33 p.m. Woo! I said. Now, So now you know never to play the Wii at 1.33 p.m., okay? Okay, I said. After the school day ended, I went to my Wii and looked at it could this story actually be true i wondered i asked my family about it they ignored it and said it's not true but i thought it was true and i stayed away from the wii for now i just have the urge to play it but after i heard that story i don't want to then i thought you have to play it at 1 p.m so I can play it, just not at 1.33 p.m. or else something scary will happen. Realizing this, I started the Wii and played it. I first went to the Me channel to make a me of me. So I made a me of Dan, which was me. I did that and named him, but for some reason, there was already a me there. Its name was MP33 double dot one. That's weird, I said in confusion. Its name looked like it was trying to say something to me, but I couldn't figure it out. So I ignored it and created my me and got out of the me channel to play a Wii game. I first tried out Wii Sports. It was really fun. I mostly played tennis because in that game, that was my favorite and I was best at that game. After an hour of playing, I saved the game and turned it off to take a break and grill out with my dad because it was a hot and sunny day. Nothing bad happened. I was glad and stopped worrying about it. I just hope it'll never happen to me. I just am still wondering what that one me's name means. Come on, Dan. Find out what that name means. You can do it. I wonder as I ate my cheeseburger. I was also wondering why that me was there and how it got there. The me was a boy, and it had short hair, with a depressed face on him. He looked sad. He looked like he just wanted to die. I will find out about that me, what its name means, and what it was trying to tell me. And if he's there for an important reason, he has to be. What if that unknown me is somehow linked to that creepy wee story that one kid told me? Maybe. Just maybe.
that he, that one me, is linked to that one story. I will find out about this tomorrow and see what is happening and what's going on. And that was the start of the horrific adventure I went through.